So, welcome. Here we are back again, part two. Uh, one of the people over at Veteran Bicycle Company left a comment in the discussion section about the cutter I used. So we're back with the annealed, the uh, tempered, and the heat-treated uh, 4140 chrome molly steel. Uh, he mentioned, which you can see right here, that the cutter I used was a negative rate cutter. So you can see that the angle is going down right here. Uh, if horizontal would be roughly up here somewhere. So uh, he said that, uh, or she, said that uh, uh, a negative rate cutter is uh, designed for bigger bites and doesn't perform well with small bites. So I thought I'd come back and revisit this test, taking much larger, larger uh, depth of cut bites uh, on the three types of material. And he also mentioned to try a positive rate cutter, which I have right here. This cutter is for aluminum. And although the holder is negative rake, the uh, design of the cutter converts it to positive rake. So uh, we're going to try that one as well. And uh, we'll sh check out those results. So let's get started. All right. so. Here we are with the annealed stock, Rockwell Hardness uh, 13, and uh, we're going to try some 50 thousandths and maybe 100 thousandths depth of cut. I'm, I'm just going to restrict it to longitudinal at this point in time. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go in 50 thousandths on this here, I'll touch off on this surface. This is already 50 thousandths down, so when I, when I hit this main section it'll be 100 thousandths. And we will start the first pass at a slower speed. Um, 440 RPM. All right, let's go. So I will uh, touch off, find my approximate zero, come back out, and we will take an additional 50 thousandths. And I'm still going to take a really slow 2 thousandths per revolution cut because I'm looking for optimal finish, so... Hitting a hundred thousandths now. surface finish is incredibly bad so here you are help focus I find the camera find focus here uh, it is incredibly rough so let's uh, let's try at high speed with a hundred thousandths cut just for a short distance so we're jumping up to the 1120 rpm Briefly. So, combination of higher RPM and uh, higher RPM and big cut made a somewhat better finish but you can hear it it is still really rough not great so let's go to a positive rate cutter we'll just jump right in there and check it all at the same time um, and what I'll do is I will touch off back here and continue the cut back here because I want to make sure the surface feet per minute the same so uh, Let's give that a shot. Let's go back to the lower RPM first. And we'll touch off and do a uh, 100,000 depth of cut. Okay. So here we are. Two thousands of revolution. Positive rate cutter. You can 
see already. Crappy finish. All right. So you can see right here, this is incredibly crispy. And lots and lots of grooves in there. I think the way the cutter's working, it's pulling out, it, you know, it's pulling out the grains and the grains are larger, but that's just my guess. I am not a material scientist. Okay, we're gonna jump to a higher RPM, do the same thing. So, a little touch off, come in, what should be touching that surface there. thousandths and let's go okay so you can see the delineation line uh, the finish is better with the positive uh, rate cutter you can see the transition here between these two points and this is a fingernail test uh, definitely definitely smoother it actually feels like this part like some of the grains almost got mashed over a little bit it's kind of hard to describe or or maybe as it was cutting it pulled some of the under the material underneath in individual spots and created little pockets but that's kind of the way it looks and feels up close uh, so that was the annealed material let's move on to the tempered material so uh, here we are at the tempered material and I'm going to do the same thing again. I am going to start at a slow speed. I'm going to touch off here, come in 50 thousandths, and then continue over here where we already had 50 thousandths depth of cut and get a full 100 thousandths. So you can see 100 thousandths. And then we will go to high speed and do the same thing again, or higher speed. All right. So here we are. We are going to touch off. Not too gently. Come in at uh, an additional 50 thousandths, which will make the final part 100 thousandths, and let's go. Hitting a hundred thousands now. And uh, that surface finish is really nice. Uh, very shiny. Just a little bit of uh, texture can I feel with my finger. But in general, very nice. Let's try the positive rate cutter. See if it goes. I'm actually concerned I'm going to break the cutter in one of these big bites uh, on this harder material because even this one, this one's Rockwell Hardness 39 approximately, so that's by no means soft material. So uh, let's give this a shot and see how the aluminum positive rate cutter does. So I'm going to, oh, you know what? I never even got to high speed, did I? <laughs> uh, let's go back, go to high speed. See if we can get an even better finish. Boy, that's crazy. All right, so first I am going to uh, touch off. Call that zero. And I don't know if I can get a bite of 100,000 at this high speed, but let's try and see what happens. I don't know. Might not be good. No, it actually worked fine. Okay, no problem. And that is another improvement in finish. Higher speed seems to be better with this material. Boy, that is glass. And that's only the tempered stock. So, bigger bite, uh, higher speed was an improvement, uh, as the gentleman at uh, Veteran Bicycle Company suggested. All right, let's switch cutters. Okay, let's go with, oops, swap wrong cutter. Well, we're gonna go with the, oh no, we want the, uh, 
want the positive rate cutter, we're going to start with slow speed and a hundred thousandths cut. Okay, here we go. Hundred thousandths cut, positive rate cutter. So you can see right off the bat, definite degradation of the uh, finish. You can see definite degradation of the focus. You can feel it texture with your hand. This is a positive rate cutter. We're going to go with the high speed next, uh, higher speed next. I don't know why I call it high speed. I have one more, but I don't use it very often. So we're going to uh, 1120 RPM, and we're going to do 100, another 100,000. That's some razor wire right there. So, uh, you know, this is a fresh edge on the cutter. <clears throat> it is on center, I believe. I set them all recently. So, uh, positive rate cutter didn't perform as well as the negative rate did with the big bite. That's kind of interesting. I'm a little surprised at that. I guess we're moving on to the hardened stock. So I might have screwed up here. Uh, this finish might be screwed because my uh, quick change tool holder had uh, gotten a little bit loose. So maybe that was the uh, cause of the uh, the bad finish. So we're going to try it again. We're going to take a high speed 100 thousandths bite. Well, let's start with the slow speed again. Do the same thing. So we're going to go back to slow speed, do 100 thousandths uh, longitudinal cut with the positive rate cutter and see what it looks like. And then we'll come back and do a high speed. Well, you can see already craptastic finish. Uh, so that wasn't it, at least at the slow speed, although that sort of matched the high speed here. So let's try high speed. Another hundred thousand. And I am disappointed. The finish is better than last time. You can see the transition right here. But it is better, but it's not as good as the negative rake. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I have heard the negative rake uh, cutters get a better finish. Maybe we're seeing the proof of it right here. All right, let's go to the hard material. I have uh, reservations about 100,000 cut in that material, but uh, let's try it anyways. <laughs> so here we are with the heat treated material that has not been tempered like the last piece. And uh, we're going to try 100,000 cut <laughs> if it'll do it. I have a fear about this. Uh, uh, this is uh, Rockwell 54 to 59, and uh, the carbide's kind of close to more than double that, around 120 if there was such a thing. But uh, it's brittle, so, you know, this may not be good. So we'll start with a slow speed, and we'll do the hundred thousandths. So, well, what I'll do is I'll come in fifty thousandths. Let's try fifty thousandths for this stuff. Oh, 
ready to hit 100 coming up. And we're at 100. Okay, that's enough of that. So, um, the finish is really good. Um, I think the negative ray of cutter really does like the bigger bite. Uh, there are some scratches in it. I don't know if that's material that got dragged or what, but uh, definitely noticeable. All right, let's go to the higher speed. And uh, we'll take a hundred thousand. Oh, it's too. All right. We'll start with a hundred if that. Uh, fails miserably. Yeah, it's going to be really hot. Maybe there's something we should be doing with coolant, so we may only do this for a brief period here. Let's try it. Oh, wow, that's actually working really well. Wow. That did better than the 50,000, so I really didn't expect that. Uh, so, uh, let's hop in here and take a look at this. So, high speed. Oops. Focus. <laughs> so, high speed gives a glass-like finish. There are a few scratches in it. There's one actually I can feel with my nail here, and it's really hot. That was, that was scooping out a lot of material. All right, let's go to the positive rate cutter, see what we can do. All right, so here we are with the positive rate cutter. I'm going to touch off low speed, do a hundred thousandth bite. Well, if low speed really is 440, but uh, that is where what I've been testing at. So let's uh, do that. Thousand depth of cut. All right. What do we have? We have a decent finish. I uh, can't really feel it with my fingernails, but not as pretty as this uh, stuff next to it. Yeah, this is really getting hot. All right, let's jump to high speed and do another hundred thousands. I'm really surprised at how well these carbide cutters are performing. All right. Well. That one did really well. So the positive rate cutter outperformed the negative rate cutter. Um, this really is a mirror finish without any blemishes. And that may be because I didn't get any chips stuck. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, boy, that is an outstanding finish right there. All right, well, I guess that sort of uh, concludes it. Let's uh, hop over to the bench and see what the uh, final results next to each other, if that matters. Okay. So one more thing before we head over to the bench, you know, people might have concerns typically about, you know, using sandpaper or a uh, tool mounted grinder or using diamond lap along the lathe because you're worried about some of that grit getting on your ways and either getting embedded in there and causing excessive wear. Um, but, you know, the chips, even though they're not small, this hardened material is a heck of a lot harder in the ways. So, uh, I like to constantly clean chips off the ways while I'm working, and it may seem a little uh, crazy, but the truth of the matter is is that they're really uh, hard material and they could scratch your way, especially if they get stuck you know, underneath the wiper and uh, on the uh, ways, between the wiper and the ways itself. So anyways, that's just my thought. All right, so here we are with all the parts together with the annealed, the uh, tempered, and heat treated and tempered. Uh, and the heat treated only, the Rockwell Hardness 13, the Rockwell Hardness approximately 39, and the Rockwell Hardness 54 to 59 part. So there's no 
absolute conclusions that I can make from this um, other than the annealed material does not do well in any form but the positive rate cutter is the best finish um, uh, there's still some some roughness in the uh, negative rate cutter even at high speed so positive rate cutter high speed um, best on the annealed the tempered sort of reversed uh, things the negative rate cutter uh, with a big cut and the was at high speeds was the best Hi across all of these high speeds was better um, the higher the speed the better uh, the negative rate cutter actually had a better finish than the positive rate cutter not quite sure why but it did so uh, recommendation for the tempered would be to use big bites on the negative rake and uh, uh, try and get really close to your finish and then maybe finish with sandpaper or something um, the heat treated although I don't think anyone's gonna actually use it this way things kind of reversed and the negative rake did a fine finish um, a little bit of roughness you can sort of hear it but the positive rake was positively glass finish at high speed uh, on the heat treated so I guess the moral of the story is you need to test some material before you actually uh, you know do the cutting if the finish is critical and you don't want to do any post processing like sanding through multiple grits and you know whatnot so anyways that's my takeaway and uh, thanks for watching always appreciate your viewership